Have you ever thought that some stuff in your bedroom that seems harmless might actually be blocking good vibes in your life? That's right, what you've got in your personal space could be messing with your money and keeping prosperity away from your home. In this video, we're going to share 9 things you should get rid of right away to make room for abundance and stop attracting negativity and financial struggles. Keeping the energy in your bedroom clean and positive is super important for bringing in good things. In this video, we'll look at how small tweaks to your environment can make a big impact. You'll discover 9 things that you might not even realize are holding you back from the opportunities you want. Don't worry, we'll walk you through it all, step by step, so you can clear those roadblocks. Get rid of the bad vibes and let the good energy come in so you can have more success, health, and abundance in your life. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of this content. We'd love to hear from you, so drop a comment below with one of these positive affirmations, I'm a magnet for positivity and abundance or my bedroom is a temple of prosperity. The bedroom is one of the most personal spaces in our home, and we spend a lot of our lives there, whether we're sleeping, resting, or just looking for some peace. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the bedroom can really affect our emotions, mental health, and even our finances. The vibe in our bedroom doesn't just influence how well we sleep, it also impacts how we feel and behave every day. The energy flowing in your bedroom could be behind a lot of that. Your bedroom, where we spend so much time, should really feel like a peaceful haven. By making sure the energy in this space is good, you're setting yourself up for prosperity to come your way. So, let's check out 9 things you should get rid of in your bedroom to keep wealth and well-being in your life. First up, those old clothes and shoes you never wear. They're a magnet for negativity and can really drag you down. Clothes you haven't worn in months or even years are major obstacles to your prosperity. They not only take up space in your bedroom but also hold on to past energy, keeping new opportunities at bay. Holding on to these things is like clinging to an old version of yourself, blocking your way to new and better things. By keeping clothes and shoes you never wear, you're basically telling the universe you're not ready to welcome new opportunities. The space those items take up could be used to bring in new things, both in your life and financially. If you want to make room for prosperity, it's time to clear out the clutter. Do a deep clean of your closet by getting rid of those clothes and shoes you don't wear anymore. Don't just see it as tossing out old stuff, you're actually making space for new things in your life. Clearing out your physical space will help clear your mind too, opening you up to new opportunities. Once you let go of what you don't need, you'll notice a shift in energy and you'll start attracting good things. Try getting rid of everything that's no longer useful to you and watch how your financial situation starts to get better. This isn't just about organizing, it's about creating a more abundant life. Another big hurdle to having a good vibe in your bedroom is all the broken or unused electronics. A lot of us have old gadgets lying around that we don't use anymore. Did you know they can create stagnant and negative energy? These items, especially if they're damaged, not only clutter up your space but also mess with the positive energy flow needed for prosperity to come in. Your bedroom should be a spot for relaxation and rejuvenation, but it can end up just being a junkyard for trapped energy, which can seriously impact your finances. Getting rid of old electronics is like opening the door to new chances. By clearing out your stuff, you let your bedroom go back to being a place for rest and rejuvenation. When your space feels right, your life starts to follow that vibe, drawing in money opportunities and a sense of abundance. One of the biggest things holding back your prosperity is all that old paper and documents piling up. Have you seen how much there is? Old bills and documents piling up in the bedroom can really mess with your energy. When they're just sitting around or out of order, they create mental and physical clutter. If you ignore them, 
they start giving off a vibe of chaos that can affect your finances and opportunities. Dealing with a mess of papers can be really frustrating, right? That clutter on the outside can mess with your head and your ability to attract good things in life. When your space is chaotic, it can lead to a chaotic mind, making it hard to focus and spot new opportunities. If you're holding onto old paperwork in your bedroom, you're just dragging your mind back to the past instead of being open to what's ahead. So, go through your papers, toss out what you don't need anymore, and organize what you want to keep. It'll make a big difference. One big trap for prosperity is having damaged or old furniture. Broken or worn out furniture isn't just about looks, it carries an energy of decay that reflects the same vibe in your life. Keeping damaged furniture in your bedroom sends a message that you're okay with things falling apart and not changing. This directly impacts your ability to bring in good vibes and prosperity. Those worn out pieces represent a standstill and show you don't care about your personal space. Swapping out old furniture is a great way to refresh the energy in the room. When you make those changes, it not only brightens up the space but also shifts your mindset about abundance and taking care of your belongings. Plants are symbols of life and growth, but when they're dead or fake, they can have the opposite effect. In your bedroom, Dead plants symbolize stagnation and decay, while fake ones, even if they look harmless, don't bring the same vital energy that real plants do. Keeping these things in your bedroom might be blocking the flow of positive energy and prosperity in your life. Just think about how you feel when you see a wilted plant or a dusty artificial flower. Get rid of those dead plants and swap them for some healthy, live ones if you can. If you're too busy or not good at taking care of plants, it's better to just leave the space empty. Having nothing there is way better than having something that doesn't bring any life. By doing this, you'll be creating space for new opportunities. Real growth in your life, whether it's financially or personally, really vibes off the energy in a room. But if your mirrors are broken or not placed right in your bedroom, they can create some serious energy issues. A broken mirror isn't just a bad sign in a lot of cultures, it can also bounce back and multiply negative energy, which can hurt your finances and how you feel overall. Check out the mirrors in your bedroom, are any of them cracked or set up in a way that reflects the wrong energy? Get rid of any broken mirrors right away and think about where the others are placed. A well-placed mirror can boost positive vibes and make the room feel bigger, creating a more abundant atmosphere. By tweaking this in your bedroom, you're setting the stage for good things to come. Create a space that brings in good vibes and prosperity, instead of pushing it away. Also, it's time to get rid of anything that reminds you of bad memories. We often hold on to things from tough times or past relationships, thinking they're just little mementos. But those items can carry a lot of negative energy and hold you back from welcoming new, positive experiences. Take a good look around, are there things in your bedroom that bring up those feelings? These items keep you stuck in the past and block new chances for happiness and success from coming in. Let go of these things with gratitude for what you learned. By getting rid of them, you're not erasing the past, you're just making room for new experiences. A broken clock in your room isn't just a useless decoration, it stands for feeling stuck and like time isn't working in your favor when it comes to success. A clock that doesn't work can also mean lost chances and feeling like you can't make progress in life. So, really think about what that says. If your clock runs fast or slow, it can throw you off from the natural rhythm of life. So, get rid of or fix those clocks right away. If you want a clock in your bedroom, make sure it works properly. A working clock represents positive progress and keeps you aware of that. If you want a healthier and happier life, take a moment to think about it. Do you have any empty cigarette packs, alcohol bottles, fast food wrappers, or anything else that reminds you of a habit you're trying to kick? 
These things can hold you back and keep you stuck in behaviors that aren't helping you grow, personally or financially. Every time you see them, even without realizing it, you're reinforcing those bad habits in your head. Getting rid of these items from your room is a way to show yourself some respect and a key step toward a more balanced life. A better life starts by getting rid of those physical reminders. By doing this, you're showing that you want to ditch bad habits and welcome new opportunities for growth. Swap out those items for things that reflect your health and wellness goals, like a nice water bottle, an uplifting book, or a healthy plant. Transform your bedroom into a hub for good vibes and prosperity. Add crystals like clear quartz for positivity and citron for abundance. Keep live plants, like lucky bamboo, to promote growth and fresh energy. Decorate with greens for growth and gold for wealth. A tidy space isn't just about looks, it clears stagnant energy, making room for new opportunities. Try burning sage or opening windows to refresh the energy. Personalize your space with a vision board and items that inspire you. Practice gratitude, daily affirmations, and visualize your goals to attract success. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this. Your journey to a prosperous life is just getting started, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. Catch you in the next video.